Life is going to beat you to the ground. Life will break you. Just when you think you've been through the most hell you'll ever face, it'll hit you even harder. And you'll think about quitting every single day. I know what it's like to wake up every day with a sense of dread and you don't know how you're going to make it and you're all alone and you've got to say to yourself when you fail again and again after facing rejection after rejection many times with tears in your eyes it's possible when life knocks you down sometimes you got to take two steps back in order to move forward when you're in that darkness it's very easy to think you're hopeless it's very easy to believe it's over for you. It's very easy to feel defeated. It's very easy to sit there and hope that something or someone will come and save you. But the truth is, you got to save yourself. You can't sit there and wait for the light to come. You've got to move forward and step your way into the light. That darkness is temporary and you can fight your way out of it. It only takes willpower. You think this is it for you? This is far from it. You got to change your mindset. You got to start thinking in ways you haven't thought before. You got to start seeing possibilities for your life you haven't seen before. You can achieve more than you think you can. You're capable of things that would surprise yourself. You've got to start using your mind to find new ways to break through all these roadblocks in front of you. When you have the will, you'll find a way. And there is always a way. You can get through whatever is in front of you if you decide to. You just gotta stand for what you believe in and don't let anything turn you around. This is your life, this is your dream. Nobody's gonna fight for what you want more than you. If it's gonna happen, it's up to you to make it happen. If you can focus on finding those ways to win and stop focusing on the ways you're losing, you can make it. Everything in your way is just life testing you. Do not fail the test. Rise up and destroy these barriers. The people who win, the most common trait they have is they find solutions, while the losers find problems. The winners are relentlessly working to move their lives into a better state of being. They don't care about the facts. They don't care about the odds. All they do is make a plan and execute the plan. If you change your way of thinking and start seeing the possibilities for you and your current situation, you'll start moving toward victory and away from feeling helpless. But you have got to affirm to yourself that you have what it takes to get through this. Your mind and spirit need to be aligned in the feeling of certainty that I will not stop until I succeed. I will make it happen, no matter what it takes, that this is nothing but a temporary inconvenience. There is nothing that can stop me from reaching my dream. Most people won't do that. Most people give up so easily. They never use the real power inside them to do anything great because they can't see those possibilities for their life. Your vision and your perspective of how you see your life is what dictates what you become. If you only ever see yourself as doing just enough to get by, that's all you'll ever achieve. But if you see yourself doing massive things living beyond what other people could possibly conceive, that's exactly what you'll get. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you're going through turbulence on your path to success, you've got to hold that vision firmly in your mind. Don't allow this negative world to throw you off course. Hold the vision and keep walking toward it. Your mind is your strongest weapon. It has the ability to adapt to any level of pain or difficulty imaginable. It's up to you to harness its power and use it to create new things for you. You can become more creative, more intelligent, more unstoppable. It's only a matter of your mind. You control your mind, you control your life. And when you control your mind, there is nothing out of reach for you. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. The only one who can stop you is you. Some of you have had a marriage fall apart. Some of you have been disappointed in a dream, in a desire, in a goal, in an ambition. And things just haven't worked out the way you wanted them to. And you're starting maybe to feel sometimes a little hopeless. It'll never change. I'll never change. Nothing's ever going to be any different. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. 
If you don't control pain, it'll control you. What is it that will make it worth it for you? To face the rejections, to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you? What is it that will help you get back up again? When everything is relaxed and peaceful. Yes, we know what we want to be. We know the person we want to become, right? It's very easy to calculate it in that rhyme to reason. When nothing's on the line. But as soon as the heart starts to race, or the bill and the pressure of the lifestyle, the, the wife, the family, or the job, all of a sudden, oh, we start to settle. I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleet, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my drive. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day. We got to fight and we got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day and we got to fight for peace. We got to fight for happiness. We got to fight for joy. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't be a victim. Don't take the easy path. Don't squander this life. Instead, live with fortitude. There's times where you think, is there anything that can justify as to why I'm always going through something all? Sometimes nothing ever makes sense that you're going through. I'm going through hurt, I'm going through pain, there's death in my family, there's sickness everywhere. But I tell you what, you can't throw in the time. It just means it's time for you to fight hard. It's time for you to stand tall. Lift your head to the sky and say, I will overcome this. I will fight back. There's always something good that can come from bad. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people want instant gratification. They want it right now. No, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's a system that if you work the system, it works if you work it. But make no mistake about it. It's hard. And you are the determining factor. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. It's hard. No, easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. If people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more, if it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, it's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. It's not about winning or losing. It's about the whole process. And you get so caught up in the outcomes of everything you do that you forget what it's all about. It is practicing. It is eating right. It is training. It is putting in more reps than everyone else. It is grinding longer and getting up earlier than your competitors. Win or lose. You give every single day everything you have. You leave nothing on the table. It is that process that shapes you and forms you into a beast. And why so many of you lose is because you think grinding is what you do when the lights are on and it's game time. You think it's what you do when the sun comes up and everyone's eyes are on you. That's not the real grind. The real grind is what you do when nobody's watching, when nobody sees you, when you're running those extra miles, when you're doing those extra reps, when you're pushing yourself to do more than anybody expects of you. It is that level of effort that forms your greatness. When you can force yourself to do sh that sucks every day of your life, you build mental toughness. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you get your up. 
When you have a deadline for a project to be done, you make sure you get it done. When you know you gotta study, you start studying. That's how you callous your mind. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be hard, but at the end of all your suffering is the life you want. Embrace the suffering. No one's coming to help you. It's you against you, period. The water's too cold, the sun's too hot, I'm getting up too early, why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. You gotta start training your mind to think about how the f can get through this. Not giving yourself a way out. Creating a wall around all the f***ing out in your mind. So then your mind knows this is not gonna give himself a way out of here. Your new norm becomes getting up every damn morning at four, five, six o'clock, and you suffer. You allow that to become your new lifestyle. Most people try to get away from that. They want the comfort, but you gotta separate yourself from the pack. You have to tell your brain, this is your new life. This is who you are. Your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. When you do this consistently and it becomes your mentality, the sh that used to be hard becomes easy. You must retrain your mind to think differently when you're in hell. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna strengthen my mind. And it's gonna lead to rare achievements. So bring it. When you get to that point, that's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use the time you have right now to strengthen your brain. Push yourself to do hard sh Come out the other side of that challenge as a beast. You gotta start thinking to yourself, I'm the grittiest mother in the world, and I don't need sh to get this done. All I need is the ability to grind my ass off. Greatness is not something that you have to meet once. It's something that you gotta meet thousands of times in your life. But you don't reach it if you're not continuously in constant pursuit of greatness. Kobe Bryant never sat there and bragged about how many championships he won. No, he was always up at three o'clock in the morning, practicing every day. Why do you think he was so great? It's not just genetics or talent, it's his ability to force himself to execute, no matter what's going on. So right now, this is the time to work. You better take the short time you have now and be the best that you can be. No more waiting, no more procrastinating, no more excuses. We're gonna work! Because when you put in the work, you always get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free no matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. There are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. And that's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else. I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. You walk out of this room, you owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to ride. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power, every single day, to become a victor and not a victim. Why? Because I owe it to myself. Can't nobody stop me but me. Introduce y'all to this very 
very simple concept. It's a very simple concept. If you want it, you gotta go get it. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, club, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you are gonna fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now and all of this shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. Some of y'all playing. Stop playing. You talk about you want to be successful. Stop tripping. You ain't serious. If you say it's too much, if you say you can't do no more, it means you don't want it. You're not willing to make the investment. It ain't never too much if you really want it. It's not the most talented person that succeeds. Talent don't mean a doggone thing if talent don't show up. It's not the quickest. It's not the fastest. It's not the strongest. No, 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 no. That's not the person who makes all their dreams become a reality. Sometimes it's less talent and more effort. And when you believe that you have the ability to do something, that the life that you're living right now is going down this direction, you can hate where it is. There is nothing else to do but to change direction. A belief that I cannot go that way anymore. I gotta go this way. And what do you have to lose? You know the outcome if you continue the same shit. Why not just commit one time in your life to something? See what happens. There are no losers in the world of passion and commitment to something. No one loses there. The losers are the people that sit the starting line and never initiate. Why not believe in it? What's the other option? It's a life forgotten, man. In the acting world, if I go to the audition, I have a fucking chance of getting a part. If I don't go to the audition, I'm out of the game. I know the outcome, nothing. Show up. Even if you get knocked on your ass, show up. At least you have a possibility, you have a chance. You have a voice of doing something with your fucking life. Raise your standards. Everybody in life gets their musts. They don't get their shoulds. Most people have a list of shoulds, don't they? Don't you have a list of things you should do, you should follow through on, I, I should lose some weight, I should work out more, I should get into the office earlier. People love to have their should list be met, but it's kind of like New Year's resolutions to kind of know it's not gonna happen. But when you decide something is a must for you, when you cut off any possible, you say, I'm gonna find the way, or I'm gonna make the way. Human beings, when they resolve things, when they make a real resolution inside themselves, which is they raise the standard, they make it a must, they find a way to make things work. Because somewhere when we make this click, when we make something a must, we attach ourselves to it. It becomes part of our identity. Whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. Your physical body today is an absolute reflection of only one thing, not your goals, not your desires, but your standards. If your standard is you're an athlete, then there's a certain amount of strength, a muscle tone, and energy that's available in your body on a regular basis because that's who you are. And so you do whatever's necessary to maintain that identity. The strongest force in the human personality is this need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. Once you lock in on that identity, your brain finds a way to keep you there. If you identify yourself in a new way, and that becomes the standard of how you live, you'll find the way to make that standard real. It all comes down to the inner game, my friends. Changing your life is a change in the inner game. The outside world you can't control, but you have absolute control over this one if you learn the dynamics of what shapes you. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. It's an indication of progress towards our dreams. Dreams require sacrifices. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking believe for your fucking dream. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true 
is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. Am I satisfied? Not by a long shot. And I will not go quietly until the night. I will go kicking and screaming. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. Where are the warriors that say, I'm going to make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling or down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy, sick ass up out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're going to do. Say, I'm going to do it and that's it. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you feel like it or not. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. And look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out, ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that. Shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're gonna judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird, they're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're gonna be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work they ass off to live their life and lifestyle. Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, become bankrupt if necessary again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me. What else is available? Of taking a chance, the fear of losing it all. What else is available to me? 
People are gonna think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pockets. You know how they talk about living your dream. And people are laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. To reprogram your mind, to get outside the box. Whatever my mind said, I don't want to do, I realize I must do that. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And that's the separation. Without discipline, you're nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Because really, the only person that you're fighting every day is yourself. It's not your boss. It's not this or that. Yeah, those are all obstacles. A lot of them you cannot control those obstacles. But you can control yourself. We have to regain control of our mind. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. The only way anything gets accomplished, you got to work hard. I can't remember what the f is in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind was safe. Okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. To find real, permanent peace, you first must go through suffering. You must go to the dark side of who you are. Every day I demand more for myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't give a f what the temperature is. They no longer care, because they know no matter what's out there, no matter if it's snowing, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they don't care, they're gonna run. It doesn't matter what the f**k's out there, what's in front of me, I'm just gonna go. And that's how you wanna get your mind. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently. To build this mindset that when things get hard, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I wanna go. You have to literally visualize the connection between what you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis with what you're wanting. What do you want yourself to look like 10 years from now? What do you want your bank account to look like? What do you want to look like physically six months from now or a year from now? You have to connect the dots. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. If you think that you've given everything, you really have it. If you think you're working hard, you're not working hard enough. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer. Whatever it is you want more of, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. People don't have limits. We put limits on ourselves. And guess what? You are strong enough to do it. And your life is worth whatever you have to go through. And you can kick on out of those circumstances, whatever they are, where you say, I'm gonna keep on kicking. I'm never gonna give up. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way that you can begin to handle this. There's a way out here somewhere, there's a solution. If I really work hard and use my mind and I get creative, there's something out there that I haven't discovered. There's always an answer. You can do more than you think you can do. You can have more than you think you can have. The possibilities for you are unlimited. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make? No one can do that. You don't know what the possibilities are for your life. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, 
that you realize that's a part of the program. The difference is not the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tested on fortune, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and if I don't win, I showed up. I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw sh against the wall. Every day I'll, I'll throw more up there, I'll try it again, try it again. And I'll never get comfortable. I don't feel rejected. I try. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. The person that didn't try should feel some type of way. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I tried. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm not whack. You know how much I went through to make that thing happen? And I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. You can't defeat me. You must have faith. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. The strength and the courage to make it through, the enduring power, the ability to persevere, to handle it, it will pad you. The inner power to overcome, to come back again. So in order to begin to prepare for the storm, you've got to go within and start working on yourself. You've got to get grounded. You've got to train your mind to serve you. Meditation is one of the ways in which you can do that. Reading is one of the ways that you can do that. Listening to music is one of the ways that you can do that. Exercise is one of the ways in which you can do that. Things that you can do to still your mind, to clear your thoughts so you can think. I had a program for myself. I have books that I read that inspire me, tapes that I listen to that fire me up. Because you're going to have sometimes low moments when you won't want to get out of bed. You just want to stay there. There are times you won't want to come out the house. There are times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why. What's wrong? I don't know. Just leave me alone. The first tendency is to panic. When they said, your mother has breast cancer. I panic immediately. I start grieving and crying. I tell the other girls, oh God, I can't handle this. I never thought this day would come. I can't deal with this pain. You got to talk to yourself sometimes, you hear me? You got to talk to yourself, and yes, I was scared. Leslie, get up, get up, Leslie, get up. Come on, man, it's easy to have faith when mama's got her health and all is well. Come on, get up and come to the house. She needs us now. Come on, dear man, come on in this room and face it. Be still and know that all is well to pull this through. And I made up my mind, I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna do it. And yes, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be difficult, and you get more no's than you do yes, but when you hold out, things will begin to happen. You won't even understand how. See what the storm does, ladies and gentlemen, it empowers you. It strengthens you. When you go through a storm, when you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy. It builds character. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. See, I'm going through a character building experience. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You should take pride in wanting to quit and not quitting. Hey, it's really hard right now, dude. You're really struggling right now. But here's the thing. Right now is when everybody else quits. Right now is when everybody else is going to fall behind. Right now is when everybody else decides to do something that's easier or faster or not as hard. And that's what gets you ahead. That's what gets you to have pride. Because those struggles, those feelings, those things that are difficult, they are there to test you. This pain, this conflict, this tragedy, this tribulation is the test. Don't fail it. Stay strong. Don't ever quit. 
Struggle is a privilege. Hardship is a privilege because those struggles, those hardships, those things that you face will turn you into an unstoppable motherfucking machine. So if you want to create super high confidence, super high self-esteem, super high momentum, that feeling I'm super powerful, I'm invincible, I'm the fucking man or I'm the fucking woman, you have to take pride in not quitting when other people are going to quit. You have to take pride in executing your job to the very best of your ability when everything around you is going wrong. That's what gets you out of the storm. You can't just focus on this moment. You've got to hold the vision. Hold the vision of things improving. Hold the vision of your health coming back. Hold the vision of being financially independent and debt free. Hold the vision of your relationships working out. Hold the vision of everything being all right because it'll give you power, give you strength, give you faith, give you patience, give you perseverance. It'll give you the ability to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And when you discipline your emotions and you don't allow them to control you, when you tell yourself, I'm in charge here, I set the course for my life, these storms that I face, they do not have power over me. When you declare that to yourself, the limits for you become non-existent. Success is often not a loud event. It's those silent walks to the gym every single day. It's the silent commute to work every single day. It's the early mornings, late nights, where you grind when everyone else has gone home every single day. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to make any noise. You don't have to grunt, you don't have to groan, you don't have to scream, you don't have to yell. What you have to do is get the job done. In the unseen work is where you're trying to create that masterpiece. And that masterpiece is yourself. All that hard work goes in when no one is watching. There's no crowds, there's no cheering sections, all that sh It's just you against you. And you have this rock which is yourself and you go through and you start to just chip away at these rough edges. Every fucking morning you don't want to get up, you don't want to go for that run, you don't want to go to school, and each day you fight that urge to stay in bed, but you still can get up, you chip away at another rough edge, and over a period of time, you begin to form that masterpiece. When we look at the masters, when we look at the best business people, we say she's gifted, she's smarter than me, she just somehow knows more than me. She's got a better education, she had an easier background, she got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true, the harder I work, the luckier I get. They don't see these motherfuckers, man, what they deal with every fucking day. I'm not good enough, I shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be here. Because every day, even though they're fucking the best in the world, that little motherfucker is still in there saying, oh man, we're not good enough. I'm not the strongest guy, I'm not the fastest guy, I'm not the smartest guy, but I will work and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors asleep, I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed, I will be up getting after it. The masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, those moments tend to lead to success. But you've got to stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard, Les? I've been cheating myself and my family. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I guarantee you, when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goals. And if you're going to make it happen, everything in the world has to become secondary. You've got to become obsessed to the point where people think you're crazy. You discipline yourself every day to do what is required. You sweat, you suffer, you endure, and at the end of it all, you win.
If your hands right now is no one looking, man, how you hold yourself, how you see yourself, what do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. If today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. You don't become what you want. You become where your habits take you. Nothing's ever going to be given to you. Everything's going to be earned. If you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't go out and put in the effort, one, you're not going to get the results. But two, more importantly, you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. There's certain things you want out of life. You want the finest things, but you're not willing to work for them. You cry about, you don't get this opportunity, you don't get this break, but you're not positioning yourself. And you're still trying to get a handout. You gotta work. It wouldn't be fair if just anybody could just get a degree and not have to work. Because guess what it would mean? It would mean your degree is worth nothing. If other people didn't have to work hard, didn't have to sweat, didn't have to stay up all night, didn't have to do research, didn't have to go to the library, didn't have to sacrifice sleep, didn't have to make sacrifices in life. If everybody just threw out degrees, they wouldn't be worth anything. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They improved every day. They did all this even though they felt like quitting every day you putting in the work and the only reason you piss the only reason you quit is not because you want to quit because you keep looking up and you said we three in who cares what you are if you keep going you're gonna break through the only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching that's the problem with some of y'all you stopping working to look at yourself you're not grinding you glaring you should be grinding and you looking at the score the score is what it is the score ain't about to change because you looked at it keep playing the game keep grinding keep working and that other stuff will take care of itself wake up every single day and if the opportunity to work out is there work out if the opportunity is there to read read because you got to tell the flesh who's in control i'm in control you're not in control i know you don't want to wake up you don't have an option get up we trying to eat there's a certain lifestyle we want you look at any person who's done anything great in this world, they've had to be fully committed. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life requires you to go all the f in. I mean, jump the f in the pool, head first, don't f worry about the what ifs, and make yourself f***ing swim. We're all being tested, and that road to success is a bumpy ass f***ing road. That's the potholes, rails, detours, and sh A lot of you are going to die in a nicely preserved body. No plates, no bad knees, no bruises, no scars. You also have an empty f***ing resume. Don't be afraid to get scars. The scars show your willingness to get to the other side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance to see what you're capable of. And there's a big difference between 99 and 100%. And to find that last 1%, it takes ignoring your personal desires and comforts. If you're able to endure when all of around you says stop you will find that one percent it's a commitment not a feeling when you get up in the morning you don't give yourself a choice you grind no matter what when you're just not feeling it you gotta force yourself when your feelings tell you no you tell them to shut the f up you don't want to get up and get out of bed you get up and get the f out of bed you don't want to study you fucking study you don't want to get to work you get to fucking work when everything in you is kicking and screaming you have to take control and tell yourself i do not stop i'm not gonna sit around and wait for good things to happen to me i'm gonna grind i'm gonna fight i'm gonna do everything in my power to become the very best version of me when you do the things most people aren't willing to do you'll live the life most people never will when you look back after working your ass off you will see every challenge all the knockdowns breakdowns and every bit of the pain and daily struggles will all be fucking worth it I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the fucking pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a fucking difference. You guys are going to have to go all the fuck in. Make a 100% commitment to give the best effort you've ever given to outwork, out improve, out strategize, outlast like never before. You can't be motivated anymore. You don't need others to motivate you. You have to be self-motivated. You can't listen to your mom. You can't listen to your dad. You can't listen to your friends. 
You can't listen to the fucking internet. You can't stick your fucking toe in the pool and say, oh, you know, I don't know, this kind of feels weird. No, you have to dedicate every fucking breath, every fucking ounce of energy, and every fucking thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. If you really want to make an impact, you're going to get a lot of judgment, you're going to get a lot of hate, people are going to just diss on you, people are going to say, who do you think you are? If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. A lion never negotiates with a hyena. He ain't waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to go hang out with some hyenas. He ain't going to the same clubs where he know the hyenas don't like him anyway because he don't concern himself with the conversations of hyenas. An eagle flies at a certain altitude and the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. See, sometimes we asking ourselves, why my friends treating me like this? You hanging out with pigeons. Why are they talking about me like this? Man, you hanging out with pigeons. The eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party, kings celebrate. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Your ability to go all in, and when I say all in, I mean all the f- in every moment every minute every hour every day every week every month every fucking year for as long as it fucking takes for you to get where you're going you should be consumed with that path if you want to show me you want to win that bad pack your calendar you pack your calendar that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity it's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flip in day where you sit there and say take a damn week off go on vacation why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months please let me catch up because hungry people they're just more urgent than everybody else if i need to learn a skill set today i'm gonna go buy the course today i'm gonna get better at it today not tomorrow not this afternoon not later on tonight today What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when your friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a fuck what day it is. It's going to run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work 7, 8, 10 hours a day and then spend the rest of your time off and you think you're going to be somewhere and you're not. And you're surrounded by people who enable this thought process. Your good friends, your family, people who have experienced accepted mediocrity as a life oh you don't need to work on weekends why do you work so hard at night why do you get up so early and do that why do you train so hard why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer when you're obsessed they're like why are you gonna be so crazy why can't you be satisfied why do you always gotta get things so perfect why do you spend so much time here when you're obsessed people think you're nuts anybody ever tell you hey look just be satisfied with what you got no don't believe them get them away from me you should never be satisfied with what you got you should double your business triple it because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Easy never pays well. So if you're thinking that it's just going to be a walk in the park, you're dead fucking wrong. You have to give it every fucking bit of effort and energy you have to pull it off. And you have to work harder than everyone else. Work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, and live like they dream. You're going to have so many people tell you, you don't have what it takes. How are you of all people gonna do that. You're being unrealistic. You're not gonna make it. Don't believe a word they say. You're gonna have to block out the noise of everyone around you and focus on yourself. You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? In life, it's not the genetic guy who wins, or the guy with the most potential that wins. It's a person with the greatest perseverance that wins. Always willing to get up and go at it again and go at it again. That's the guy who has his hand raised later in life, guys. That's the guy you guys need to be. 
every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. What are you going to do now? How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now. And everybody who wronged you in the past, they gonna have to feel you. They gonna have to see you. Don't get even. Don't worry about getting even when you already beat the odds. You wanna make your dream come true, you gotta stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you wanna go. I just kept on doing what I was supposed to do. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. We all get knocked out. I've had my haters. I've had people who've come against me, who try to sabotage me. I'm like the liar. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. Stop letting people affect your day, affect your life, affect the outcome of what's gonna happen to you. Waste no more effort wrestling with other people. Your destiny, your future is not predicated on the decision of someone else. You wasted too much of your life trying to change other people's mind about you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. It matters how you see yourself. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. When you understand and accept this, then nothing or no one can deny you greatness. Everybody said you don't read well enough. You're not a critical thinker. I'm not, but I'm a beast. You ain't got to be smart when you a beast. You ain't got to be the most talented when you a beast. You ain't got to be the most talented when you got that dog. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. And I will succeed. I'm going to make myself good enough. I'm driven. I'm obsessed. I want to prove people wrong. While they talk, you keep working. While they gossip behind your back, you keep working. And at the end of it all, they will lose and you will win. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. Life will yield to you. And I'll go to war for what I want. I will go to war for what I love. So I won't stand down. So if you get in my way, I will either step on you or step over you. This is your territory. This is your turf. This is your field. This is your court. This is your home. Protect what's yours. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never gonna feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't wanna do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, right, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now.
My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f- I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit, but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do shit when you feel like doing shit. But they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, f*** you, I'm going to do this shit anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions fucking thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you tire. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. There's a lot said in our self-help culture about starting things. You have a business that you want to start? Yeah, you should absolutely go and start that. You have a project that you've been thinking about for a while? Go start. There's this whole idea that if you can just get yourself to start, you know, starting is the hardest thing. You've got to get into it. Go for it. Do it. Stop talking about it. Start. The problem is, if people are bad at starting, they're even worse at finishing things. They take all of this enjoyment from starting, forgetting that there is untold enjoyment in finishing. The satisfaction of getting something done, of feeling like you have a completed project, of getting to the end of it and being able to put that stamp that says, I'm done, I finished, I don't need to look at this again, it's done. There is so much enjoyment that we can take from that that we do not get when we half-heartedly move from one project to the next. As soon as one gets difficult or lacks interest, we move on to the next one. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge, you'll upgrade your skills, you'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless. 
regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions f***ing thrive on. Your victory has defeated you. Some of you, your success has messed you up. You so successful now, you saw it. Your success has not benefited you. You've not grown as a result of being successful. You've lost your bite. You're not hungry anymore. Your success is damaging you. Not many people want the life that you have and you got it and you're not taking it serious. You know many people would die to have your life and you got it. It's your life, you got it. What you gonna do with it? Telling yourself that you don't need to go harder or you don't need to do more in your job or be more disciplined in the way that you live. If you tell yourself those things, that's actually a lie because you know you can do more. You know you can be more and that's the truth. That's the truth and it eats you up. When you get content, when you settle, somebody's chasing you, somebody's coming from behind and somebody's trying to take your spot. And so every single day when you wake up, you gotta set new goals, new benchmarks, you gotta raise it higher and higher and higher so you can make your dreams become a reality. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. Fight. Sometimes it's about consistency. Just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. You never stop, you never give up, and never quit. Day after day, play after play, second after second, minute by minute. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you will never be successful. You'll never have it, you'll never do it, you'll never be it because you're just interested in it. That's all you are. You just like it. You're trying to get to the next level and you're just interested. You're kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to dream it, if you want to live it, if you want to swim in it, if you want to wear it, if you want to be it, if you want to accomplish it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment, 120%. Believe it within you, because every motherfucker that has ever achieved it had to believe it when everyone else said it wasn't possible. They said it fucking was, and there they stand. Boom, did it. Your turn. Today we're gonna start it, and every day we're gonna pay our day's dues. You're not gonna close any more windows. This day it changes. Every day forward is a better day. No longer are we gonna accept rhymes and society's rhymes of reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must be pissed off for excellence. It doesn't matter about the past, it's today. What are we doing today? What are we gonna engage now? And once we engage, we commit. Once we engage, it's every f***ing day we engage. Cause that's the better life. It's your option though. What are you gonna do? You're gonna face some hard times. You're gonna get slapped around. And don't take it personal. Don't ask, why did this have to happen to me? It's called life. It happens to everybody. You could plan your life to be ideal today and I guarantee you there will be things that happen along the way that were unplanned, that will look as if they're unfortunate, that will feel as if the world's coming down on your shoulders. But those are also the greatest lessons. Some of the best things that we've ever learned from people happen because they were going through some time of discontent and they said, how do I overcome this? What can I do about it? And there's other people that would have to face that if it wasn't for that knowledge, if it wasn't for that experience. But it's because they did something. They didn't just fall victim to that. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. 
You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. When your day is a museum of disappointments hanging from events that were outside of your control. When you find yourself flailing in an ocean of why is this happening to me? When you get put in the esophagus by a fistful of life, remember that you will survive. Remember, things could be worse. Remember, we are never, ever given anything that we can't handle. When the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember, you are still here. The human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour. And each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, You are still alive. Act like it. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you, but by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. No matter what anyone else has said, or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people, well then you're gonna have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say, you have greatness inside you. Wherever we are, with whatever hand that life has dealt us, we have the freedom of spirit, we can go through life whining and weeping, or we can have the kind of spirit that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. You have an unconquerable soul. You gotta get up to find your purpose. Some of you getting up means, all right, here I am. I got some challenges I'm tired of being quiet about. Others of you getting up means I'm fighting back. I'm going to a doctor. Getting up means I'm going back to counseling. Getting up says, all right, I'm gonna start the medication again. Getting up is, you know what? Maybe I can get a job. Maybe my mission has not been destroyed by my depression. I'm getting up. It can be painful. It will be uncomfortable. And that's where the growth is. When you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination, and you know that what you're doing is right. It gives you your life. It gives a special meaning and power to you. You begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation.